So there's a different sort of a shot guys. So you can see the hull extension there, you can see the chine follows the original. That's obviously going to be tidied up, that's not the finished product, but it just gives you an idea of where we're heading. Um, a lot more work to do. I have got to uh, do a bit more glass and work, even on that skin there. There's some um, um, overlaps that I've just got to fix up and grind back and fix up. That's all the for the glass. So, Okay, so we have a look at this um, transom here, we can see, if you look really closely, you can see the thickness of the glass, it's, on the, it's basically the skin, it's about 5mm, you can see it's nice and tight along there, nice and tight, no gaps or anything, looks pretty good, a couple of imperfections here that I've got to fix up, and in here, along here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make mix up a uh, very small batch of cabasil and uh, start filling those. Get them ready and then I'll have to sand it back again and tidy it all up. Same thing applies to the other side there. pH, set it to grams. Right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna measure that out. All I want is about 50 grams, so I'll let it run very slowly. There we go. That's all I need. Oop, over a little bit. And that should be enough, believe it or not. It's only a tiny little bit of resin. Not much in there at all. But once again, I add my MEKP first. There. Get in my mix. under pressure and I'm trying to get it all off the bottom mix it around a bit there we go get all of that MEKP in there mix it really well and I'm going to add the cabasil the cabasil is very very light so as you can see the wind just picked up just as I picked that bloody stuff up there we go going everywhere now I need to get all of these lumps out. I didn't sift that. I normally try and sift it to make sure I don't get the lumps. Working it there. It's nice and thick already. So I'm not going to need too much. And I just squash it down. Work it. That's all I need. I'm not working on a vertical surface or anything, I'm working on a horizontal surface.
Right -o. so what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a look at um, some of the structure now. We're going to have a look at how I've set it all into place and just talk about generally what, it, what it's about, what I've done, how I've done it. I will be doing a whole heap of videos a little bit later about um, the glassing procedures, how I've cut it all up, how I've tabbed it, um, how I've done my radiuses and all of that sort of stuff. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the... Uh, let's do an aerial view. There we go. There are the longitudinals that we were talking about. Locking all the, the transom into the back of the boat. Then we've got our knees over on this side. And then we've got our gyro bed support. So these are basically the longitudinals. And what we've got is these are locking into that the back of the old transom there. All right. And I've gone through and I've started to tab them all in. But essentially what you can see is um, those three longitudinals are in. I have not, that center one there has not been um, uh, tabbed into place or taped into place yet. I've still got to do that. The taping is exactly the same. I've got a video that I'm going to be doing that's um, essentially going to explain what I've done, how I've done it. It's all a part of the design anyway. Nothing that I've, no ideas that I've come up with. It's just the way it's done. So really, really simple. Two layers of uh, double bias separated by 225 gram chop strand mat. Um, and it's just a tape, so it's 200 mil wide. You can get them in different widths and everything else. So that's pretty much it. 